cards these days can help you earn cash back, you know, travel rewards, other perks, but have you checked your points lately? Someone else could be taking a grand vacation on you. Joanne Purton shows us what to watch for so you don't waste your money. Building up miles toward a flight or points toward a hotel is how many people save for a much needed getaway. But our investigation found some bold criminals may have already beaten you to it. Flights, hotels, rental cars, even entire trips all for sale. Not by regular travel agents though, but by criminals setting up shops selling stolen rewards points. So uh, in the deep and dark web there are these travel agencies and they're run by these vendors who advertise that they can get you pretty much anything that you would need for vacations to anywhere in the world. And usually at a major discount. Liv Rowley is an intelligence analyst who spends her day monitoring the dark web for fraud. Basically, she says criminals use various software tools to nab your points. It's really important to see in the deep and dark web that this is, it's not one person who's doing it all. It's oftentimes groups of people that work together to accomplish fraud. Rowley says a scammer will steal, say, your flight miles and sell them to a criminal travel agent who will take other stolen points for, say, a hotel and pull them together. It's so brazen there are rating systems. We were even shown a photo of someone bragging about the trip bought from stolen points. And it's unfortunate, but it's not all that shocking given the high value of those points and miles. And given the fact that people often don't know their miles are stolen until sometimes months after they're gone. Point specialist Emily McNutt says that's one reason the bad booking agents are able to set up shop. People know to keep their bank account secure. They know to check up on their balances and make sure that everything is up to date. However, unfortunately, in the points and miles world, we don't always see that. Tips to protect yourself, what Rowley calls strong password hygiene, including different passwords for various accounts. And McNutt says make sure you sign up for alerts so that if your points are redeemed, you're the first to know. And in the end, consumers should look at points and miles as money. While points programs aren't required to offer the same protection as credit cards, many will stand by their customers. So just be sure to report stolen points immediately if it happens to you so you don't waste your money. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News.